What's up, everybody? This is the 100th episode of Dear Asshole. And what better way to celebrate it than by taking a break? Seriously, though, it's the day after St. Patty's Day. I'm hungover as shit. Metal Blade Records was kind enough to uh, lend me the lead singer of a legion. His name's Ezra, he's hilarious, and he's gonna do the 100th episode. You've heard of Metal Blade, right? Growing up, they were one of my personal favorite record labels. You know, they have bands on their label like, I don't know, Cannibal Corpse, Six Feet Under, The Black Dahlia Murder, and, of course, a legion. So without further ado, we have a dumbass who wrote in thinking that their band name was pronounced Alagayon, and our friend Ezra gives him a lesson on how to fucking read. Thank you, Ezra, and feel free to go fuck yourself. Hola, simpletons. This is Ezra Haynes of Allegiant, your temporary asshole, and today we have a question from a vulva having future pedophile asking, Dear asshole, why do underground metal singers always sound like they're gargling balls when they sing? P.S. WTF is an Allegiant anyway. A gay alligator? Well, listener, this proves to be a great question from someone who most likely knows what it's like to gargle balls, much like when you try to prove to your loved ones that you do not have a gag reflex. See? Whether it's underground metal music or popular culture, there's always going to be one thing that comes into play. Sex sells. Since the beginning of metal, artists have strived to perfect that newly dropped balls gargling sound that you've grown to know and love. Go ahead and lock yourself in your used syringe ridden bathroom, look yourself in the mirror and give it a shot. You'll be quite pleased with the results. Now as far as a gay alligator goes, I'm not surprised if this question is coming from someone that Hooked on Phonics didn't even work for. A is for asshole, B is for balls, and C is for kill yourself. And there it is, folks. That's all the time that I have as an unpaid intern. Once again, this is Ezra Haynes of Allegion. I'd like to congratulate Dear Asshole on 100 episodes. And remember, if it doesn't fit, then force it.